Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video, we are going to make this card here. Um, we're going to create our own stencil to make our own background. Now, to get started, I've got these dies. I'm just sharing with you some of the ones I have in my stash. They are all layering dies and they are all from Alina's shop on AliExpress. So I've got these heart ones here. They're a set of four and they layer together. I won't be using these today, but I have got a video coming up in the next few days with them. Um, these are what they look like when they're die cut out, just in case you're curious. Um, any of these kind of background dies or layering dies work great for this technique because it's all about taking what you've got and making use of it and making a second use for it. So today I will be sharing with you how to make a stencil using a background die. So as you can see here, this is how the set layers up. We are going to use one of these dies, that top one there, for our card today. I've also got um, these butterflies, which I'm missing one of. <laughs> I'm not sure where I put it. Um, I won't use those today, but there is another video coming up soon with them. And I've got this beautiful floral edge die, and it comes with this rectangle die here as well. So to get started, I'm using that rectangle edge to cut my cardstock. I'm doing this because I know then that my flowers will fit perfectly on there. Now I've got my die ready and I'm pulling out this overhead projector um, acetate sheet stuff. <laughs> I picked this up from my church uh, when my church got rid of their projector that they had for years. It is fantastic. It's very thin acetate, makes it quite easy to cut in, the die, in your die cutting machine, um, but I just thought this would be a great way to recycle, reuse, and craft. So I've die cut it out. Now what I've done is I've stuck a sheet of cardstock behind it. This enables me to make sure that every one of those little bits um, gets cut out and it makes it really easy for pulling them off when I'm done um, die cutting. So I'm just lining it up on the top of my card. It's just ever so slightly smaller than my sheet of cardstock. So what I'm going to do first is tape it onto my card quite central um, just so that I can make sure that my background is nice and even. So I'm applying some low tack purple tape here. I've got this post-it note tape from AliExpress. It is cheap and cheerful and does the job really well. It's really low tack. So I'm just covering up those edges. I will come back later on and decorate those edges but for now I want to cover them up and make sure I get a nice even layer of ink. I've got this ink blending tool, which I picked up from Every Crafts a Pound here in the UK, and I've got um, my Peacock Feathers Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. So all I'm doing is just rubbing it over my handmade stencil to get this nice pattern in the background of my card. Now I'm just applying an even pressure and just kind of rubbing it around in a circular motion to get that ink to go through the stencil. And because we've taped it on, it's not leaking under the stencil anywhere either. So here you can see, I've got my image on the back of my cardstock, which has worked out a nice treat. So now is the bit where we're gonna do the edges. This is a trick I've stolen from Natasha Foote on YouTube. Um, she does this a lot with her cards. I love layering my cards. I usually do um, a couple layers, but given I don't have any cardstock in this color, I thought I would use Natasha's way and add a bit of color so it looks like I've got that layered border. Now all I'm doing is sticking this low tack tape down and then applying a heavy um, amount of ink along that edge and I'm getting this nice clear border along all the sides which I think helps define it a bit. When I go to stick my flowers on top you'll see that it fits just inside that border so it's quite nice to have it. Now this is some um, glitter uh, cardstock. It is from Stampin' Up, I believe, and I have just die cut out this flower edge with it. Now normally when I do something a bit intricate like this, I take the time to add some um, double-sided sticky tape on the back before running it through, but given it's such a thick bit of um, glitter card, it would have been really difficult to cut all the way through. So I'm doing it the painstaking way. I am taking my liquid glue, this is a tonic um, glue, and I am painfully applying it to the back. It did take quite a while, this is probably the longest um, 
thing that on my card uh, for me to do, but it's well worth it. You can, and basically I'm just applying the thinnest layer possible onto the whole back of that. And then I'm doing my best to line it up nice and straight in my card. And this is where my little border actually helps me as well because I'm kind of lining it up along with that and I'm getting it nice and straight, which is really, really satisfying because I'm good at wonky, not so good at straight. Another trick, grab a bit of scrap paper, stick it on the top and give it a firm rub and then that way you can make sure it's adhered down. This is my special envelope of sentiments. I have a lot of shadow dies, uh, layered dies, and I love using those in my card making. I've pulled out the word happy, and I've got this birthday stamp set here, which I picked up from Craft Stash. I'll try and link everything I can down below for you, so if you're wanting to find any of these supplies, hopefully you'll be able to find it down below in the um, description box. So what I'm doing now is applying some of Alina's double-sided sticky sheets. I use these all the time in my crafting. I did manage to stick it on the back of that glitter, little bit of glitter card for the happy birthday. This makes um, putting your dies together really quick and easy, but it is permanent. So when you stick it down, make sure you've got it lined up nicely because when it goes down, it's not coming off. You don't really get much wiggle room like you do with a liquid glue. So I've die cut it out three times plus my glitter card stuff. So I've got four layers in total for my sentiment um, for my word happy. So I've just stuck my three cardstock layers together. All my cardstock that I use today has come from Lime Tree Craft in the UK. I'll link them down below as well. I use their 300 GSM cardstock. So here's my glitter H um, in the same white glitter I use for my flowers. Now this is where it's a bit tricky. I'm having to peel off those die cut out bits um, because it didn't cut all the way through that backing paper, which is fine. I only need it to cut through the shiny stuff. So here's my layers all finished. I've got my four layers of the H and then the Appy. <laughs> um, now I wanted to have a matching background uh, for my shadow die, so I am just using my ink pad and creating that colored cardstock again. And then I'm running that through and I've got my um, background which matches with my card front. So the next thing I want to do is get a bit of vellum. I wanted to do um, birthday but I already felt like my sentiment happy stood out enough so I kind of wanted birthday to blend in but pop out at the same time if that makes sense. So I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink pad here and I'm just stamping the word birthday out and I'm popping it down on this bit of vellum and in my little pot, sorry, my head gets in the way. It's really hard. You want to make sure you get it centered. And with it being so see-through, it's a bit difficult. I've got some clear embossing powder there in my little pot. I'm just going to cover up my birthday. Now, I always forget to use the anti-static tool um, and rub that on so my powder doesn't stick. But thankfully, I was all right this time. So I'm just heat setting it now and melting that embossing powder so it's shiny and kind of pops up a bit. Um, it has a little bit of dimension to it. Now before I adhere it down to my card base, I'm going to wrap this birthday around the card so that I can tuck it behind and hide it um, when I go to adhere the front to my card base. So as you can see, I've just wrapped it around and eyeballed it, taking a bit of my, this is the Sukwang tape. Um, it is also the exact same as score tape. It's just Sukwang is the maker of it. I order mine from a seller, from the actual Sukwang seller on um, Etsy online. I think they're closed at the moment, so you can't actually order any. Now, this is another trick from Natasha Foot. I feel like I just steal all her great ideas. <laughs> she folds back all these edges and then takes the middle one off, and then that way you can line it up on your card base exactly centered. And then it makes it so it's nice and easy without having to guess and get it wonky, which is what I'm very good at. <laughs> so I'm just adhering my happy down onto my shadow bit of my die. I've taken the release paper off and then I can go ahead and stick that on. Now what I did here was I wanted to get an outline and this is my second attempt. I have had to rip off happy off the first one because I tried to outline it by freestyling it and holding it and I mucked up and got ink across the center of it. So here you can see my original. I'm having to peel it all off. Thankfully it peeled off just fine. 
Um, but note to self, <laughs> make sure you practice what you're doing before you have a go for the first time. So I found when I put it down on my sheet of scrap paper and then traced around it, I got that nice little black outline that I wanted originally um, without accidentally um, making my uh, Sharpie go across my little bit of um, outline. Sorry, <laughs> it's late at night as usual and I'm quite tired. So I've had to do this process a second time, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's worked out in the end and I've learned a really good lesson. So I've just gone and applied a bit of liquid glue now onto the back of those just because I pulled up some of that cardstock, obviously, when I had to replace my backing. I'm again applying my tonic liquid glue to the back of that one and just sticking it down on the front of my card. And that concludes the front of my card. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please do like and subscribe. I've got some more videos and tutorials coming up for you. So take care, stay in and stay safe. Bye.